Hi and welcome back to our Arduino series. Today we are going to explore how to use a passive buzzer to make sounds with your Arduino. By the end of this video, you'll understand how to integrate a buzzer in your projects to provide audio feedback. Let's get started. First, let's talk about what a passive buzzer is and how it differs from an active buzzer. A passive buzzer requires an external signal source to make sound, meaning you control the frequency and tone through your Arduino. In contrast, an active buzzer has a built-in oscillating source, so it generates a sound at a fixed tone when powered. Wiring a passive buzzer to an Arduino is straightforward. Connect one pin of the buzzer to a digital pin on the Arduino, and here we'll use pin 8, and connect the other pin to one of the GND pins on the Arduino. This setup is necessary because the buzzer needs to receive signals from the Arduino to operate as it doesn't generate sound independently as an active buzzer does. Now let's program the Arduino to control the buzzer. I'll explain the code step by step so you understand exactly how it works. Here's the complete program we'll be working with today. We'll go through each part of the code to see how it controls the buzzer to produce different tones. First, we declare a variable called buzzer pin and set it to 8. This tells the Arduino that our buzzer is connected to pin 8. In the setup function, we configure the buzzer pin as an output. This is essential because we want the Arduino to send signals to the buzzer. Next, we have the play tone function. This function takes two parameters, tone and duration. The tone parameter controls the frequency of the sound and duration determines how long the tone plays. Inside this function, we use a for loop to create the sound. The loop runs for the specified duration and in each iteration, it turns the buzzer on and off rapidly to produce the desired tone. Digital write sets the buzzer pin high and low and delay microseconds controls the timing between these signals. Finally, we have the loop function, which runs continuously. In this function, we call play tone with different values to create different sounds. After playing each tone, we use delay to pause before playing the next tone. Let's break down the play tone calls. Play tone 1000,200 means that the buzzer will produce a tone with a period of 1000 microseconds or a frequency of 1 kHz for 200 milliseconds. After that, we wait for one second before playing the next tone, play tone 500,300, which has a period of 500 microseconds or a frequency of 2 kHz for 300 milliseconds. After uploading this sketch to your Arduino, your passive buzzer should start to play the tones. By adjusting the tone and duration values in the code, you can experiment with different sounds. Congratulations, you now know how to use a passive buzzer with an Arduino to make sounds. This is great for adding audio alerts or notifications to your projects. If you liked this tutorial and learned something new, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Arduino tutorials. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Have any questions or a project you'd like to see? Leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.